Hey, Christian and Caitlin, it's about 5.30 in the morning here. I'm in my little one-bedroom uh, room here at the homestay in Germany. I uh, just wanted to leave this message with you really quickly. It is the most uh, profound thing that you can do in your life is to build your self-esteem. And this is not anything to do with how you look. It's everything to do with who you are as a person. If you don't want to succumb to danger or get into dangerous situations, your self-esteem is going to protect you because you're not going to have to deal with or put up with people's garbage, their insecurities, their doubts, their fears, their abuse, their neglect, their abandonment. Your self-esteem is going to be able to protect you because you're going to feel so good about yourself that it it's doesn't depend on anybody else. So if somebody's acting stupidly, right? You're going to be like, okay, all right, so what? Go on your way. I'm going to go live this way, right? So so often, women and guys too, we don't have our self-esteem. And we get we lose ourselves. We lose ourselves and we're not who we really are anymore. And we and get in dangerous situations like hooking up with the wrong crowd or hanging out with people who are drug heads, who are alcoholics, um, who are, are lazy, who are, you know, fearful and have mental problems. And we deal and we put up with so much crap because we don't have our self-esteem. I can't tell you how many stories I had to deal with uh, people um, that that have so much crap that they try to put on me. But I have a strong self-esteem and a strong sense of who I am and the person that I am. That I can just tell them, go fuck yourself, <laughs> right? Go fuck yourself and go live the way you want to live. But I'm not living the way you want me to live because that makes you feel comfortable. You understand? So in other words, it's not your job to change who you are as a person to satisfy everybody else. Okay? And it's not your job to put up with people's nonsense uh, because you don't want to be alone. Your self-esteem is going to protect you. Your self-esteem is going to navigate you through life and a high self-esteem and a sense of self-worth that you're great, you're you're smart, you guys are, are confident, you guys are resourceful, both of you guys are gifted, you have gifts and talents and skills, both of you guys are going to travel around the world, you're going to change the world with, with new products, new ideas, you're going to take whatever your mom and dad and I did and grandma and papa did and you're going to go even further than all of that. You're supposed to go further. You're supposed to expand out. You're supposed to do more. You're not supposed to do less. You're not supposed to retract and retreat. Only people who are scared, only people who are depressed, only people who don't have self-esteem retreat. They don't, they're not confident. And I'm not saying you, re, you, you, you go and fight a fight uh, and go kill yourself. I'm saying that you have to have strong self-esteem and awareness in yourself to let people go and to move on and to keep on pressing on towards what your life is supposed to be about, not what everybody else wants you to be. I struggle with this all the time. People always ask me and, and uh, want me to do things for them because they know I can do it, because they know I'm a great person. They know uh, I can handle it. They know I'm smart. They know I'm resourceful. They know I'm disciplined and I'm focused and I have resources, right? Um, so they, they throw things on me. But a lot of times I tell people, no, I'm not doing this. You don't get to treat me like this. You don't get to dump your crap on me like this. I'm not your babysitter. I'm not here to take care of you. I'm not giving up on what I'm supposed to be doing in my life, giving up on my dreams and the way I feel about me because it makes you feel better right only people who are screwed up want you to give up on yourself and make you feel like shit and i'm here to remind you that you're great you guys are great people you're better than your mom and your dad and me and your grandpa and your grandma and all your uncles and aunts you're better than all of us and you want to know why it's because you have a piece of all of us in you and you're the next generation. You're the, you're the next one coming up. So you have all of these life skills to learn about and apply to your life. And you can apply it any which way you want. You can go down the tubes with it or you can do something great with it. But 
I'm going to tell you it's not going to be easy. Your self-esteem is going to be challenged. It's going to be rocked. Your mom and dad might challenge it. My mom and dad challenges it all the time. And having your strong self-esteem that you are gifted, you're talented, you're skilled, you're created to do great things here, and you keep on replaying that in your mind over and over and over again, is going to help navigate you through. I love you guys. I just wanted to share this message with you. And uh, I hope you're doing well. I can't wait to see you.